and I'm Lucy Stools, number two anchor woman. To provide us with the latest updates on C. difficile, let's go to B4 and see how they've implemented the three eights. They are a great bunch. Back to our own reporter, Maya Buttreeks. Live from B4, I am here with ICP and the B4 staff to learn about the new approach to C. difficile. I have a patient who is on a laxative and has had two loose stools. Do I send a specimen? If they've been on laxatives, we expect them to have loose stools. I would stop the laxatives and continue to monitor. But if the patient does have risk factors for C. difficile, I think we should initiate what I call the three eights. Isolate, wait, and evaluate. We want to isolate the patient so we don't create risk for other patients. We want to wait and monitor what the stools are doing over the next day. And then we'll evaluate whether we need to send a specimen or take them off isolation. Let's have another example. My patient has been here for a week and just had loose stools. Do I need to isolate? Are they on accidents? No. Since they've been here for a week, there is a chance they may have picked up C. difficile. But the de case definition of C. diff is three or more episodes of diarrhea in a 24-hour period, and we have not met that threshold yet. And in this case, I would isolate, wait, and I'll evaluate the patient tomorrow. Okay. Now over to Sheriff Sharks a lot, who's going to tell us about changes to do bowel documentation at the hospital. There's a new bowel record in town. You gotta fill out all the columns. This sheet's crap. We don't know the consistency of the stool. We don't want any what we in the field call undocumented on the form. Failure to complete the form is considered a medical record infraction. I understand that they're only supposed to send a stool that conforms to the shape of the container. Yes, it can be tricky to differentiate between a number five stool which should not be sent and a number six which should. To help show the difference, Chef My Enormous Butt is here with her poo cakes. So this, this would be a perfect specimen for a C-diff sample. You see how it's loose and runny, it takes the shape of the container. And so would that be a six or a seven? Yes, yes it would. You see, I made this chart. It starts with a one and through to a seven. Okay. And with uh, what would a five look like? So this is the kind of sample you should not send. You see how it sticks to the container, doesn't really form, and it's not runny. Chef for that mouth-watering demonstration. You are what you eat. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Coming up next is Shark Tank, where entrepreneurs will try to impress sharks with innovative ideas that don't stink. And we'll leave you now with a small chunk from the Dead Puet Society. Good evening. I am Ivana Seymour Butts. Strange things come from the C. diff bum in the patients for whom we care. The bowel chart has a place for farts. So complete documentation there. The UV lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night in the lab when the specimens were bad because poo was mixed with pee. 